Hi, welcome to Distinti definition video number five. In this definition, we're going to talk about puffery. We're going to explain what puffery is. We're going to give some examples and explain why this is important to us. Okay, the purpose of these definition videos is that they're going to these words are going to be used uh, throughout a lot of work that's going on in distinti.com and instead of having to provide definitions as we go in the multiple videos I'm, what I'm going to do instead is direct you to go watch these videos before you continue on with the other video I'm not going to put links in the videos or links in the high bar links in the low bar because these videos are embedded all over the place and not everybody has access to low bars instead They'll be on the definitions page at distinti.com on the main site. There'll be a tab or an icon on the main site that'll get you to the definitions page. It's not there yet, but it'll be there in a week or so. So what's puffery? What you see before you is the wiki definition. And basically, I'm going to read it to you. In everyday language, puffery refers to exaggerated or false praise. In law, Puffery is a promotional statement or claim that expresses subjective rather than objective views, which no reasonable person would take literally. Puffery serves to puff up an exaggerated image of what is being described and is usually featured in testimonials. Okay, you can understand this. You've heard the term a puff piece, where a reporter does a uh, thing about somebody to really elevate their status to help them get elected yada 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 okay and the one of the best examples of puffery on um, is in the bullshit series by Penn and Teller in season season three episode 11 there's the episode called the best in that episode they rented out a restaurant they purchased worst components. I mean, for example, they didn't purchase Cool Whip. They purchased the inexpensive knockoff to Cool Whip. Okay, that's how bad the components were. Okay, and then they got somebody who really didn't know how to cook. But what they did is they got people in on it. So in other words, they sent out people and said, bring somebody to this restaurant that considers themselves an expert on food. Okay, and the waiter. Okay, I was trying to get screenshots of this, but uh, I'm trying to do it on... Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime does not for some reason allow you to take screen captures so I couldn't show you pictures sorry but the waiter did a great job puffing up everything for example the, the dessert was Cool Whip the Cool Whip knockoff served in a fancy you know dessert glass with a little bit of cheap liqueur and stale chocolate shavings over the top and the waiter said this he said and now for dessert Bavarian white chocolate mousse with a 25-year-old liqueur. The chocolate mousse is beat 150 times, and it's the lightest thing you will ever put in your mouth. And when the people tried it, they're like, wow, this is fantastic. You know, it's great, great puffery. Okay, another example of puffery is the carnival barker you've seen in the movies where they're saying, come on, come on. See the bearded lady from the dark continent where the dinosaurs still roam the earth. You know, all the baloney puffing up to get people to come into the sideshow. Okay. And one place you will find puffery on a uh, daily basis is in menus. And there's actually an entire writing style for how you do menus. I'm not going to read this to you. This is on Wikipedia. You can read it. And in other words, they, they put like exotic words in there um, to manage expectations and it's it's a uh, it's really an amazing um, way that you can make something sound so fantastic and you haven't said anything at all and that's the key here you're exhorting something to make it sound more fantastic than it really is so that you can keep people's attention and that is what's happening in science and both Unfortunately, both mainstream and alternative science outlets are steeped in this puffery. You know, this puffery is enchanting and amazing to um, to overage people, and it keeps subscriber. I don't know what the overage means. In other words, it's 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 uh, to to encourage people to stay in and to keep them turned in, and funding turned on, and all that stuff. And let me give you examples in the alternative outlets. You'll always hear the people. 
On the alternative out, let's say this is the lost work of Tesla, when Tesla may have absolutely nothing to do with it. Or they'll say it's something that the ancients knew. It's ancient technology that's been revisited or it's recovered UFO technology. Uh, and it's the thing the power companies don't want you to know. You know, they'll use fancy technical jargon with no real meaning or with meanings that change. And there's somebody out there that's really amazing at stitching together incredibly fancy words and it makes him sound like uh, the most intelligent guy in the world. I'm not going to give you his name. You probably know his name. Okay, and the one, the one, the the, the, the branch of science that is the, that does the most transgression on puffery is quantum mechanics. Um, here is a link to a quantum, a Nova quantum physics special with I think it's Brian Green. There's the link up there, and it's interesting because in the first oh ten minutes. It's complete. There's no, these are, that. this is, okay, so this is the time in the video, and this is the statement that's made by a scientist, and it goes on and on and on. There's no disagreement between quantum mechanics and any experiment that's ever been done. That, I'm going to show you, is a lie. It's puffery. For over 75 years, we have been using them, quantum mechanics. In experiment after experiment, the quantum laws have always been right. Again, that's puffery. There are literally billions of pieces of confirming evidence for quantum mechanics at 714. It has passed so many tests of so many bizarre predictions. So what? We're gonna, you're going to find out in the next slide that it can't get any predictions about not things that aren't bizarre. Uh, there's no disagreement between quantum mechanics in any experiment that has ever been done. Any experiment. Okay. And so when you get to 49 minutes and 7 seconds into the video, oh, there's a gaping hole. Quantum mechanics can't explain anything in the real world. <laughs> so they're saying any experiment? Really? Well, okay. Obviously not. So this is grotesque lying and, and puffery. Um, I mean, I don't want to call it lying because what they're, what they're saying is that they're over-exaggerating the words. What they're saying is when they're saying it, it, it passes every experiment, what they're talking about is experiments in quantum mechanics. Okay, but they're making it sound like that it's an irrefutable law of the universe when in fact they can't explain anything in the real world. And that, if you go to that video at 49 minutes and seven seconds, they'll explain, you know, at least they explain it at the end, that it doesn't explain everything. Okay, and one of the examples of puffery that I really detest is the example of the puffery around the Schrodinger's cat example. So in case you haven't heard of the Schrodinger's cat experiment, what you have is you have a cat in a box is a bottle of poison and a hammer that's tied to a uh, nuclear source that at any minute can drop because of radioactive decay can drop that hammer to smash the vial to kill the cat. Then what they do is they cover this experiment. Okay, and so they say that the probability at any time that the cat's alive is 50-50. And so when they come with this very overly puffed up thing and they say, there's a probability superposition where the cat being alive and dead coexist at the same time. Okay, that's complete puffery bullshit. And then when they say, when you open the box to look inside to see what happened, then they say, oh, that's when you, by observing it, you collapse the probability superposition like, like as if you altered the outcome. Okay, that's complete puffery. In a proper application, of probability theory, the cat at any instance of time is either a dead or alive. It can't be both. That would be a paradox. And if it could be both at the same time, then you should be able to open the box and observe both at the same time. You can't. Okay, and when you look in the box, you're not collapsing a probability superposition. That's puffery. You're merely obviating the need to use probability theory anymore. The only reason, like I've said in the previous definition videos, 
The only reason we apply probability theory is because we don't know. We don't know what's going on inside the box. We do not have any deterministic model that explains when the radioactive source is going to trigger the hammer. If we did, we wouldn't have to use probability superpositions because we would just know when the cat's alive or the cat's dead. Okay, and this puffery has seeped into their theories and now we've got quantum computers that have all the states at the same time and, and I'm gonna show you when we get to the, to the breaking quantum mechanics video that that is complete puffery. And uh, there's another video. Well, I'm not going to get into that now. We'll get that into that other video. Okay, so this video is the basis for the T12 trailer, which is breaking quantum mechanics. This will be my final death blow to quantum mechanics. I have uh, three other videos on quantum mechanics, one that disproves quantum entanglement. The other one disproves the, uh, I forgot what the other one was. But it doesn't really matter. So this will be released in the next week. I was trying to get it done this week, um, but I got to get the rule of acquisition 14 out, which is the insanity tell. That's that's a prerequisite for that. So that's going to be next. And so next weekend will be the rule of acquisition 14 and the T12 breaking quantum mechanics premiere. Thank you. No more voodoo physics, which is what quantum mechanics is. Thank you very much.